Good to Narev Shabbos. What a pleasure being with you this past week. We're middle middle of the of, of smack in the middle of Chamisha Chamshi Tara here. Let's be mechazek ourselves to to continue to get others involved uh, in Shnaya Mikra as uh, we continue going through the the wealth of knowledge and beauty of our Torah Hakdasha. So just a, a short idea on on Parshas Kedoshim. There's a story that. There's a guy who came to Rav Noach Weinberg, Zecher Tzadik, the Kaddish Levracha. And he tells Rav Noach the Rashiva Isha Torah. He says, you know, I'm leaving Israel today. And I want to tell you the truth. I'm very disappointed with my trip to Israel. Noach says, why? He says, guy came to Israel to search for holiness. I've been searching far and wide. I went to Tiberias. I went to Be'er Sheva. I went everywhere, all the places of the Bible. And, you know... I didn't find holiness anywhere. And I'm, just, I'm disappointed. So if Noach looks at him and he says, can I ask you a question? He says, sure. He says, are you a bafusnik? The guy says, a, a what? He says, you heard me. Are you a bafusnik? <laughs> you have Google Translate? What's a bafusnik? He says, forget about what it is. Are you a bafusnik? Yes or no? He says, I can't answer that question if I don't know what it is. So Noach looks at him and says, well, I just made that word up. So it's good you didn't answer. I have a question for you. How could you look for holiness if you don't know what holiness is? What's holiness? What do you picture? A bunch of angels flying around and someone playing harp. Ah, like we're being holy, come by, my Lord. What's holiness? You know what holiness is? Well, let me tell you some things which we call kadosh. What do we call kadosh in, you know, in our literature? So we have Shabbos Kodesh. We have the Beis HaMikdash. We have the Kodesh HaKadashim, right? We look at different things which are called Kodesh. What does it mean when we say these things are Kodesh? So the answer is really in the Gemara. The Gemara says that when a person gets married to his wife, or his Mekadesh, his wife, engaged, real engagement, not like today's engagement where we make a party, but real engagement, Erison, he says the words, Hare at Mikudeshet Li. He says, you are mukudash to me. What does that mean? Telling his wife, you're mukudash to me. You're holy? Yeah? Try that one on your first date. You're holy to me. Yeah? Let me know if you get a second date. What does that mean? You are hectish to me. The answer is that the word kodesh means you are separate. You just became separate from the rest of the world to me. You're mine. You're special. You just became elevated. You just became my wife. Hashem says, Kla Yisrael, you are mukdash to me. I took you away from the rest of the nations. You're mine. Shabbos Kodesh is a different day than the rest of the week. The Beis HaMikdash is a different place than every other place in the world. The Kodesh HaKadosh is a different place than even everywhere else in the Beis HaMikdash. And guess what we say every day in davening? Me, me and you, we say it every day. You ready for these words? Hashem Ata Kadosh. You're holy. V'shimcha kadosh. Ata kadosh. V'shimcha kadosh. And guess what else? U'kidoshim b'chol yom. Yehalalucha sela. And there are holy ones who praise you every day. Who are those holy ones? We're not referring to the angels, my friends. We're referring to us. We are kadoshim. And we have to look at ourselves that way. Because when you look at yourself as a kadosh, you do things differently. Right? Sometimes people think, oh, the rabbis, the rabbis can't do that. No, no, no. Hashem didn't say, Atakav Shimon Kadosh, the rabbis Kadosh. No, at least not in my Siddur. Uktoshim, you are a Kadosh. You're a Neshama as Kadosh. You have the same Neshama as Moshe Rabbeinu. And the Rambam says that every person can be like Moshe Rabbeinu. How? There's never going to be a greater Navi than Moshe ever. Yeah, but you could be the greatest Shlomo. You could be the greatest Yechesko, the greatest Sarah. Be the greatest that you could be because you have that potential. You are a Kadosh. You know, the, the, the president's kids have to walk around security. They're first kids. They can't just go wherever they want. Right? When in the middle of a press conference, you don't see President of the United States hopefully picking their nose. Right? You never know where, where, where we're headed now. You might forget. But most, we don't do that because you're a president. You represent. We are the Amsegula. We are the, the presidents of the world. We are the CEOs of the world. We are the Kedoshim of the world. You, you are a Kadosh. My Rebbe told me once, you know, don't tell a kid he shouldn't look at not appropriate things. 
because you're going to burn in Jehenim. Oh, you're going to burn. It might be true, but that's not the reason you shouldn't do that. You know you don't do it? It's because a, digni a dignified person doesn't play in the mud. You're so good. You're so beyond that. You're so hush of. The more you look at your at yourself and you realize, not, not like fakely, you realize that you are billions and trillions of dollars. You're the most precious thing to Hashem in the world. You're going to realize how you have to take care of that. Take care of your neshama is the most special thing that you have. You're elevated. That's the parsha of Kedoshim. Hashem says, be Kadosh because I'm Kadosh. And you're with me. You're elevated. You're special. We should all be Zoha after we went through this parsha to, to take some of these ideas into our lives. And once again, continue the Shtayim Mikra. Keep on going. We're doing great. And we should be Zoha to see each other soon by the next Siyam. Merta Hashem. I'm always down for a good barbecue. And uh, we should be Zoha to learn more together. Have a great Shabbos.